Hey friends, it's Cherie, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little pattern haul. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. probably thinking another pattern haul yes I love patterns I love sewing all the things okay <laughs> so there are a couple of plans that I have that required me to pick up a couple of patterns that I didn't have in my stash and then there were also some really cute things on the something delightful website and they were having a sale I think the patterns were like $3.99 for Butterick and since I don't have a Joann's local to me where I could hit up one of those $1.99 sales, I totally took advantage of the some, something delightful sale. So I'll be sharing with you all the things that I got. If you are not subscribed to my channel, but you have visited my channel before in the past, please do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you supporting me and I really hope that I can continue to provide entertainment to you and that you can support me by subscribing to my channel. All right, let's get into the patterns. So I mentioned in my sewing plans that I was sewing up really comfortable, loose fitting things. And one of the things that I have always wanted to make but hadn't purchased the pattern because let's be honest, closet core patterns are expensive, okay? Um, and I haven't always been a huge fan of wrap dresses but I'm sewing one up now and I'm already loving the way it's coming out. So I definitely knew that I wanted to pick this pattern up. This is the LED wrap dress and this is what it looks like. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. Obviously, you know, I like a long dress, so I'm definitely checking out this one, but I also like this shorter length one with the pockets as well. So I don't think I can go wrong with either of these versions of the pattern. So I picked this up on Etsy and I'll link the Etsy shop that I purchased it from and I'm really excited to make this. The next closet core pattern that I picked up is the Morgan jeans. I have a couple of other jean patterns that I plan to sew probably end of fall, early winter. Um, I have to wait until I have some swelling and bloating go down before I can get into my jean journey again, but this is the Morgan jeans. So cute they are a boyfriend style jean which is right up my alley very comfortable and this particular pair of jeans is not high-waisted and a lot of the jeans that I wear are high-waisted I want to revisit this style because I think it might be a bit more comfortable for me so I picked this up it also had really great ratings so I definitely wanted to give this a try now on to the Butterick patterns now Butterick, I didn't used to have very many Butterick patterns, but now this is my second Butterick haul. And I'm finding that I like quite a few of their things. They're more of a mature style of pattern. So some of these things, you know, may not be your cup of tea, but for me, I think that they are classic looking and I'm really excited to make them. This first one is Butterick B6674. I'll insert a picture so that you can see what this looks like close up. There are two length options and the longer dress actually has a tier that is flowy and has gathers. I think that's really beautiful. It closes with a little button at the neck and it has this really gorgeous fluttery detail on either side of the bodice panels. So I really love the way that looks and it also carries over to the back of the bodice. So this flutter goes all the way around and I'll insert pictures of the line drawing so that you can see what that looks like. Again, that's Butterick B6677. The next one I got, and this is perfect for me, something I would absolutely wear for work, something I would wear any time of the year and day, it's Butterick B6723. This is a kneeling dress. There's two variations. One has a rounded hem and the other one has a fluttery type of straight hem. Um, one has an elbow tie, like three quarter length sleeve, and the other one has a puff sleeve that stops above the elbow with a cuff at the end of the sleeve, and I think that's really cute. And they both have a tie belt and a button front bodice. 
This is such a classic pattern that I think that you could make for years to come. And out of lots of different gorgeous fabrics, they recommend Dorbo Georgette, uh, Chalet Rayon Crepe. But you can make this out of a lot of different things. And I think that this is a really good pattern. The next pattern is B6757. This dress is really cute. I love this because it has elastic around the neck band and also in the shoulder cuffs. I think it's really cute. Um, it gives a really nice gathered effect in the bodice and on the shoulders and it gives a little puff to the sleeve. And you have the option of having a little ruffle at the end of your sleeve or having it closed off with a regular hem without the elastic. And I think that's really cute. You can have a straight skirt or you can have one that has a really great gathered ruffle that's longer in the back, shorter in the front on version B. Really nice pull on dress, no zippers or buttons, just elastic and it has a waist tie. I think this is so cute and classic. It's perfect for summer and spring. So I think this is a good pattern for a lot of different body types and I'm happy that I picked this up. The next pattern that I picked up is B6769. There are three views to this pattern. This is a pattern that would be perfect for my life right now, although I don't think I have the time to actually sew it up. It's a gorgeous pattern. In this pattern, you have a top, a tunic, and a caftan. So I really love the top and the caftan. So what I really love about this is that it has a high split, but it's a very simple construction. It has a grown on sleeve. Um, it does have a V-neck, but it doesn't have any buttons or zippers or anything like that. It looks very simple and in the right fabric could be just so beautiful and comfortable. Version A is similar to the caftan in that it also has the same sleeve and the same v-neck, but obviously it stops up at the hips because it is a top. That would be really easy to sew and a really nice pattern to have on stash. I tried and true, I can already tell. And then version B is the tunic length and it has this interesting tie front feature on the chest and it has very loose, but like baggy sleeves. So if you're into that look, this might be good for you, but I'm primarily interested in version C and A. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. The last two patterns that I picked up are Vogue patterns. I don't have a ton of Vogue patterns in my stash. I have some, but to be perfectly honest, I've only sewn up one <laughs> out of all the Vogue patterns that I have. I don't have a ton, but still, I've only sewn up one. I love the look of them, but sometimes they're very complex and they have so many extra steps <laughs> that I don't wanna do but I do want the actual garment. So I'm holding on to them for the day that I actually have all the time and the energy to make them happen, okay? Because they're beautiful. So this one that I picked up is V9268. There are two views to this dress. It has a very wide front and back dress panels that are curved and it's so beautiful. I think it'll be very comfortable, really appropriate for fall, winter. I'm sure in the right fabric, you can carry this out through spring, summer as well. The fabric suggestions for this particular pattern are rayon spandex, cotton spandex, 80 knits. Um, so pretty much any knit type of fabric that you like, you can probably make out of this dress. It is really gorgeous. I just love how the skirt of it is so fluttery and the fact that it's longer in, in the middle and shorter on the side, so you can pull it up and it's almost like a half circle. Really gorgeous, I'm sure, a fabric hog. Yeah, you do have to make this in 60 inch wide fabric and um, the shorter version will be three and five eighths yard and the longer version will be four and three eighths yards of fabric that you will need for this pattern. But I just think it's a really great pattern. And I also think it's something that you can make look really dressy and expensive, but it'll also be comfortable. So I think this is a really good pattern. Lastly, this is a more simple pattern. However, I think in the right fabric, it could really shine. This is the Vogue V1798. It is a gorgeous, simple line dress with a puff sleeve. And I really think that this could be something special. I like that the back panel is gathered in the back of the dress. That's really nice. It also has this low V in the back, but it's not so low that you can't wear a bra with it. And it has a tie feature at the shoulders. And I just think that that's really nice. And even though it's a very simple design in the right fabric, it could be a knockout. Like this dress in an Ankara fabric or like she has done here in a bright colored fabric, 
it actually would be really great. Um, while it looks extremely simple in design, it is a fully lined dress, I believe. So it will still take some time, but I think this will be worth it. And this is something that I can wear all year round, I think. So anyways, I think it's a lovely pattern. That was the last pattern that I picked up. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. If you've sewn up any of these patterns, please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you enjoyed the pattern. Let me know any pattern hacks that you had to make or any issues that came up with the pattern. I'm finding that very helpful, friends. Some of my um, subscribers have commented below what adjustments that they made and they are similar body types to me and it has saved me a headache in the past. So please share your thoughts on any of the patterns that you've tried. If there's a pattern in this haul that you would like to have a full review on after I sew it, please let me know which one you would be interested in hearing the details about. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Bye.